why our rabbi says, if you will not be like these children, you cannot enter my father's kingdom. Why? Let's go back and see what are the characteristics of a good child. First, a child always loves to listen to his parents. A child trusts his parent with all his life. A child don't reason out. A child always love. Though sometimes he is not satisfied, but he never have that inkling to hit that hatred longer to one than what he should do. For end of the day, it is done. Are we that the same child that Father Yah called us to be his children? For we are so become so smart in this world that we forget to be a child anymore. That every time Father Yah talks to us, we have something to reason out. You know, when Dean was in high school, and when I think I was the smartest in the house, they don't need to reason out because they know I will outwit them with the reasoning. But now they're grown. When me and their mama say something, they have something to reason out. And I said, when did you learn to reason out? And sometimes we do to our father just like that. You know, when we transgress, you know what we reason out? It's just between me and Father Yah. As if there is a provision for you to do the other way around. As if Father Yah will understand you of the things that you're transgressing because you have a special thing that you have a reason not to do it. Are we? Is there any provision that is written on the Bible that we can transgress His law and we can get away with it because we have our own reason? No, no we're not. Because Father Yah changed not the same thing with His laws. We have no provisions that will be getting away with it if we transgress. Because sin of one is sin for all. Don't ever tell to anybody that he sins more than you do. You know, we have a brother in the Philippines who talked to his siblings and when he got mad, he said, don't reason out to me, he said, because you sin more than me. I said, wow. wow. <laughs> and when I, read, when I heard that, I went to James, and James said, if you sin for one law, you sin for all. Because the transgression of the Transgression of the law is death. There is no provision that says if you sin one, you can get away with it. If you sin two, you, you, you are going there. But if you sin all of it, you will die. No, there's no provision like that. And sometimes we become so smart that we reason out our way out. And we always say it's between you and the Father. Hoping that Father Yah will give you the chance to reason out. But I cannot find any word in this Bible that says we have a provision to commit sin. Do we have one? <laughs> Pastor Blackwell? <laughs> when Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Bitzraim, I called my son. You know the word Bitzraim here is Egypt. And you know what Egypt means if we put into context of the Bible. 
it is the slavery, it is sin, it's the bondage. And Father, you have called us out from our own mess. And He loves us when we were that child. What happened to that child? When Father, you lavish you so much, instead of getting closer to Him, we are getting away from Him. Why? Because we think that we are spoiled children. That we can get away for everything that we do because Father God loves us that so much. I don't think so. I love my son, B. But if he do some mess, I will allow him to, you know, suffer the consequences for a while. I will offer my hand, but let him suffer for a while. That's my, that's what I... That's what I told him. And the Berean, the Deuteronomy chapter 30, there we go, verse 10. There we go. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 10. If you obey the voice of Father Yahweh, your Elohim, to guard His commands and His laws, which are written in this book of the Torah, if you turn back to Almighty Father, your Elohim, with all your heart and with all your being. 11. For this command which I am commanding you today, it is not too hard for you. Nor is it far off. Is it, nor it is beyond the sea. No, no, no. Verse 12. It is not in the heavens to say who shall ascend in the heavens for us and bring it to us and cause us to hear so that we do it. Nor is it beyond the sea to say who shall go over the sea for us and bring it to us and cause us to hear it so that we do it. All you have to do is come to this place and you will hear the word of Father Yah. You don't need to pay anything. Father Yah will pay everything for you. Just come. Just come. And yet, sometimes we even have the excuse not to come. Sometimes we have the reason not to show ourselves on this house. Why are we doing that? Because we have our own reason, probably. But ask yourself, is Father Yah care about your reasoning not to show your face in his Shabbat? Think like this. Your boss gives you everything that you need. Your boss gives you car, husband if you ask for it, wife if you ask for it, money in the bank if you ask for it, your health if you ask for it. Everything is provided to you. And yet, when he asks you to come and show your face once a week in this house, can you say to the boss, I cannot come because I'm doing something? <laughs> if we are working to a company and the boss just gives you one provision to show yourself in the company once a week, will you say, I cannot come because I'm doing something? Will you not come 
because you are saying you have more important things to do? You know, sometimes we thought that what we are doing is enough to get us into heaven. Do we think so? Do you remember when that hand appears on the wall? Is it many, many pickle? You are waiting and found what? The word did not say nothing. You feel short. We are doing something. But the question is, is it more than enough to get us into that kingdom that Father Jeff promised us to have? Ask ourselves, if we are going, if we think that Father Yah is the CEO of the company, are we doing the best that we can? And I believe we will say, not enough. Not enough. In verse 4, then the word is very near you. It is in your mouth. It is in your heart to do it. You know the law. You know what is right. You know what is good. Even the word says, if you do and know what is right and fail to do it, it is sin against you. Father, he has said, do what you got to do for the six days. But for the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest from Yes, sir. Did you know that the first thing that we transgress is his Sabbath? From sundown to sundown. And all of us are guilty. Me too is guilty. Why? Because we are not giving him all of our heart, all of our soul. The reason being this word is given to us because we have still the opportunity to change our ways. We are still alive. Okay. Meaning there is still hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because once our life is over, it's, it's done. Yeah. See, in verse 15, I have said before you today life and good and death and evil. In that that I am commanding you today to love Father Yah, your Elohim, to walk His ways, to guard His commands, His laws, His right rulings. And what will happen after that? And you shall live and increase. And Father Yahweh, your Elohim, shall bless you in the land which you go to possess. Yeah. 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 Remember Psalm 23, verse 1. Father Yahweh is my shepherd. I shall not want. You will never lack anything in this world. Why we know all these words and promises, and yet, why we tend to forget it? What we have in our thoughts, that we think we can do these things and still receive the blessing. You know, we read and hear the word that says, the devil trembles. When he hears 